6.42, a new movie is now in theaters, and it's predicted to make a big boom, just like Barbie did last year. It's a musical based on the iconic and very quotable movie Mean Girls. Remember that? 2004? ABC 10's Mark Allen live to talk about it. Mark, some people want to know how many times can you quote the movie Mean Girls? I'm sorry, I can see you're busy. The limit does not exist. There you go. There's a Mean Girl quote. And by the way, I did that thing you do. You're never supposed to really eat in movies and television. And I just took a big bite right as you're throwing it out to me. Hey, welcome to Serialism. This is a place where you can Instagram and enjoy your favorite breakfast cereal and breakfast cereal cocktails where they mix all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you would, introduce yourself. I'm Laterica, the owner of Serialism. Laterica, what's going on here? What is all of this? And what does Mean Girls have to do with it? Yes, yeah, so they reached out to us to promote to help promote the movie. And we decided to, um, we set up an Instagrammable photo opportunity for, you can wear your pink yeah. and come after to you, take you, pictures. You got gear, you've got a desk. And also, what's this? Yes, we designed an entire Mean Girls menu for you to enjoy milkshakes and desserts. Including some Mean Girls cereal. Apropos, uh, very apropos, which I shouldn't be eating right before we're doing. My mom always said, don't talk with your mouth full, and now it's very full. Uh, all right, were you a fan of the movie? I am a fan of Mean Girls, yes. Yeah, take a look at the movie turned musical turned movie again, albeit 20 years later. Uh, I caught up with Tina Fey on the set this time around to talk about what it means and what she hopes for you as an audience. Take a look. I think people are going to love this cast, and I hope that people will um, find moments where they're like, oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> there are going to be moments like that where you will cackle. Uh, Julian Soto, one of the directors of our show, sat with me in the screen and he cackles anytime something funny. He cackled the entire movie long. All right, if I seem passionate about this, it's because I am. Uh, 21 years ago, I got to go on the set. 20 years ago, I sat down with Tina Fey for the very first time uh, as a super uber Saturday Night Live geek to talk to her about it. So please get ready to make fun of my flat iron hair and the fact that my voice is cracking during the interview. Take a look. Hey, good to see you. Nice to see you. I might as well like curl up in fetal position. I am uh, <laughs> like the biggest Saturday Night Live fan. Uh, this is like, I might as well be like the little school girl. <laughs> in the You're corner. as happy as a little girl. I am. This is the pinnacle of success for me. This is a big deal. With that said, I got nothing to say. Could you just talk for like five minutes? <laughs> sure, I've been doing it all day. <laughs> now, did you walk away from high school uh, just kind of bitter and angry at any individuals that maybe? Yes, I mean, I definitely had, uh, you know, I, I had really bad luck with boys in high school. So I left high school uh, very bitter about that aspect of my life. Um, and it wasn't until I was about 24 that anything started to work out. Yeah, I would say it's working out. She's worth about $200 million now between everything that she's done. Uh, the movie, uh, I, I'd like to, uh, hey, look, I'm not the demo, so let's ask you. You saw it. What did you think? I thought Mean Girls was a really good um, blend of the musical mm -hmm. and the actual movie. Mm -hmm. It was a really good concept. Great casting, too. Uh, what did you think of my hair in that interview? Was it so fetch? Uh, fetch is not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a thing last no. hour. It's still not a thing. <laughs> anyway, I say, Mean Girls, it's now what to watch. I just like your hat right now. I think this is really working for everybody. So let me ask you this, since you've been talking about Mean Girls, what's your review of the movie? My review of the movie is this. I liked it better than the original film. Now, the original film is iconic. Don't get me wrong. Lindsay Lohan did a great job. Uh, but this new cast, it seems a little bit more organic. Uh, these people, don't you think this new cast, they seemed a little bit more real? Right. It was really personable and um, matched the time stick. Yeah, yeah. A bit real and modern, I would say. So uh, Mean Girls, definitely what to watch. And Serialism, it's what to eat. And drink. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Chief. Uh, so, uh, uh, two thumbs up from the reviewers there at Serialism. Yeah. Huh? The kind yeah. of a cool name there. Did you watch Mean Girls back in the day? Uh, I did not back in the day. I was uh, <laughs> probably a little bit too young for that movie back in the day. Oh, really? <laughs> you know wow. What? How? Well, I won't ask you your age. <laughs> I, I'm doing the mental math here. We've got a little bit of time between shows. Brendan, we're watching yeah. Mean Girls today. Well, log on, on the to YouTube. Clock. Get him on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs>